So they made signs, asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name, and all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke, blessing God. And we read in our gospel today about the birth of John the Baptist. Now in the beginning of Luke's gospel, we read about Zechariah losing his ability to speak after he encounters the angel announcing that Elizabeth, his wife, is expecting. Now Zechariah loses his ability to speak because he doubts that God can perform such a miracle in his and Elizabeth's life because they're already of old age. Zechariah doesn't regain his speech until they name their child John. And we read in our gospel that that immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke blessing God. Now, it's usually the custom, or it was usually the custom, to name the child after their father. But that was not what Zechariah or Elizabeth had done. Now, the name John means the Lord has shown favor. By naming him John, they publicly express their gratitude to God. They, they give thanks to God. Now, I can imagine this was not easy for Zechariah. You know, it required, it required a vulnerability on Zechariah's part to allow God to work in his life as God works. I'm sure that Zechariah wanted to be in control, and we saw what had happened at the beginning of the gospel when he tried to put these parameters on God. He tried to put God into a box. But the Lord allowed Zechariah to speak again. He regained his speech after Zechariah had put his trust in the Lord. We usually have expectations of how we want God to work in our lives. We're not open and we're not vulnerable to how God desires to work in our lives. So this gospel passage is a call to us to be open and vulnerable to God. Just as Zechariah and Elizabeth had to be open to God. So that way we too can experience the miracles that God performs around us.